What's up everyone? We are back with a farming strategy around ambush and strong boxes. So hit that like button, get subscribed, and let's get into it. Now this is a good strategy that I have been doing on and off in between farming T17 maps because let's be honest, rerolling those and farming them gets really old really fast even though it is very, very profitable. So if we check out the Atlas tree here, pretty standard. We go up through the middle, we grab this additional strong box node. We're going down here because we're going to be wanting to also get good coffins and good all flames to either use or sell. Make our way up here, we get some extra map sustain from the shaping the mountains over here. I'll go up, we get some more scarab drops, which is always nice. It's going to give us some more farm. Go up through the middle, get all the quant that we possibly can. Uh, going in here to get more quant and more rarity. Uh, I went in through the harvest, but it's three points anywhere, so you can really put these three points anywhere you want as long as it connects to these three nodes in the middle. Getting some more ambush scarabs right here, which is the strongbox scarabs. We are going to be using those, so that is nice to find ones that we're going to use anyway. Get some more div uh, some more strongbox nodes. Uh, go up here. I get all of the increased explicit modifier on your maps, so I go down here just for those. If the maps are getting too hard, because even though this increases quantity and item rarity and things like that, it does make the map harder. So if the maps start to get too hard, you can take these points out. And kind of work your way around here you could also take off invasive adversaries uh, i don't suggest this is a really good node but it obviously makes some of the monsters more difficult for a little bit of extra reward make my way to the left i get some more scarab drop chances and go over here there is some more haunted pack stuff uh again we go down here like i said we want more coffins more all flames better chance at those and then we are going searing exarch we are going to be putting Searing Exarch influence on our maps. Remember, if you do cannot put the Searing Exarch influence on your map, which is this red button right here, you're going to want to wait till you run some maps and get the Searing Exarch quest and just do as it says and get the invitation and eventually kill him. Uh, if you're having trouble with that, hop on our Discord. Say, can someone kill the Searing Exarch for me? I have the invitation. We can do that very, very easily. Now, you can path over here and do the blue altars if you really want. I like the red altars, especially since they have the chaos reward and the chaos price right now is very, very high. People are using them up um, like candy just because rerolling tier 17 maps is one of the best farming strategies this league. So you can get some extra chaos. I think last time I checked, there are about 95 chaos per divine, which is pretty ridiculous, especially for this time of the league. Now for the maps, you want to run one with a decent layout, a decent pack size, and also a decent divination card drop so you could run something like crimson temple that has a couple good cards including the apothecary card i suggest running something that can drop the fortunate card which is the card where once you get 12 you get two divine and they are much 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 more common than something like an apothecary so maps like that could be jungle valley could be strand it could be dunes it could be the fields map i actually run fields usually when i do this strategy for the sake of this video i'm going to use one uh like jungle valley that a lot of people really like so I'm going to favor mostly Jungle Valley and put one on Stagnation uh, with the Jungle Valley. Uh, the ones that you want just should be connected. So it can be Stagnation, it could be Waste Pool, could be Lookout, could be Spider Forest. Pick one that you don't mind running every now and then if you run out of Jungle Valley maps. But anyways, the Scarabs you're going to want to run are the Ambush Scarabs that give five additional strong boxes. You can use a limit of four. We're going to use two on those. One that makes them a 15% chance. To be openable again uh, and then another one strong boxes area more likely to be the rare varieties uh, these are pretty cheap scarabs uh, nothing too crazy uh, i would at least use a couple of the ambush scarabs to get some more strong boxes and then on the map device you are going to want to run the actual ambush map device choice now this is seven chaos if you're really poor right now you do not have to run this. It's just five additional strong boxes for seven chaos. It is worth it. But if you could not include something, if you wanted a little bit more discount, you could take this off. If you wanted it even cheaper, you could probably take off the 15% strong boxes to be openable again. This feels really, really nice. And keep in mind that's a 15% uh, that can happen again. So you open one, you can open it again, and then you can hit it again. And it can be openable if that 15% keeps hitting. As far as I know, there's a limit on this, but I wouldn't expect to get many more than three, um, and even three is kind of asking a lot. 
but getting ones uh, that are openable again is actually more common than it seems even with a 15% chance. Now, when you are running strong boxes, what you want to make very clear is that if you are vulnerable to a certain ailment, something like being able to be frozen, opening them unidentified can be pretty dangerous. Now, the way you can get around this is getting ailment immunity. You can get a uh, flask where you can be unfrozen when you use it. Just have that ready when you hit a strong box so that you are not frozen in a big pack of monsters. You can also click on the strong box and immediately after clicking on it, teleport away. Sometimes if you're frozen, by the time they get there attacking you, you can survive them attacking you because you will dethaw. But it's better just to get the immunity. Like I said, you can get it on a flask. You can fit purity of elements, the aura in your build, which just makes you flat out immune to those effects. Um, you, the way I'm doing it, which is the more expensive way, is I have a 100% chance to avoid being shocked on my boots. And then I have a storm shroud jewel on my passive tree. Bears are dicks. But the storm shroud jewel, I got one that corrupted blood cannot be inflicted on me. I think it was like 35 divine. You do not need one like that. But it makes it so modifiers to chance to being a shock. These bears really need to leave me alone. Chance of being shocked uh, to avoid elemental ailments converts. So I have 100% chance to shock, which means I have 100% chance to avoid elemental ailments. So that's shock, you know, uh, frozen, things like that. Um, another one is it can inflict bleed on you when you open it. You can have a health blast just ready to mash it. Some people can leech through it. Absolutely no problem. It's not that big a deal. Now, because we are taking tamper proof, they are going to be corrupted and rare. So there's no point really in unidentifying them unless you want uh, just to see what you're up against. Again, you can use a wisdom scroll on a bot. Well, you can't even unidentify what corrupted. But if you're having problems or you're just starting out, um, your character isn't that strong yet, you can take off tamper proof. Uh, they won't all be rare, but then you could also use an identify scroll on them. Um, if they are white, you can treat them like any other item. You can use an orb of alchemy, right click them and turn them to rare. If you if it is a bad mod or it's uh, you don't think you're going to be able to do the strong box, it's too strong. You can use an orb of scouring, make it white, and then make it rare again from there. It is not ideal, but in the beginning, it's hard out here in these streets. You got to do what you can to be able to run some of these strategies till you're strong enough to do it the better way. But well, running the map is very simple. You can open them and use a movement skill to get away and then empty them. You can just keep opening them uh, and stand right there and just keep killing stuff. Make your way through the map, and you always want to look at your shrines. Now, this shrine I am going to take because a Grand Eldritch Chamber is good, and there's also a Miscellaneous Scarab Drop. So I'm going to take that, even though they're going to do a lot more Chaos damage. That's why we take Red Altars. You aren't going to be able to get something like a Divine Altar on the blue one, but after many, many seasons and running a lot of Blue Altar, I still have yet to find the Divine Altar, so I would prefer the Red, especially, like I said, uh, Chaos Orbs are more worth it. Uh, this league and especially at this point they are more worth it but that's basically the strategy guys i do not have numbers and how many diff per hour this is but it is a very good strategy uh, i wouldn't worry too much about the diff per hour just run go kill stuff have some fun and if this video helped you or if you've run this strategy before and you like it make sure you leave a like on the video it helps a ton make sure you get subscribed for more farming videos and some more tips videos and all of that also make sure you follow over on twitch.tv slash safe on talk where i'm streaming quite a bit and we're all hanging out and also make sure you join the discord uh, it's a great place to ask any questions i try to answer as many as i can whenever i am online and also we have a guild now not a lot of people in it it is the sot guild if you join the discord and you are not an asshole and want to join the guild then by all means come on in and have some fun with us but that's going to do it for this one guys go out there make some currency this is a great strategy it is a lot of fun. It's kind of mindless. You aren't running a ton of mechanics. You are just running through and getting as much stuff as possible, opening all of the strong boxes. So thanks, everyone, and we will catch you on the next one.